Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on the new song from Monoskin called Valentine. I'm going to teach you the whole song apart from the guitar solo. If you want me to do a, a video on the guitar solo, leave me a comment in the comments and I'll do a separate video just on that for you. Um, but the rest of the guitar parts are, I'm going to teach you in this lesson. But just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out, as does giving me a like on the video. And the more comments, the better. It helps the video get some more views. So just say hi if you want to say hi. Let me know where in the world you're from. Um, and then let me know what songs I should do next. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, keep me doing this, and you want to print the tabs off as well, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in drop D tuning. So it's all standard, apart from the top string is dropped down two semitones to a D. Okay, I'll still refer to that as an E string or else I'll get confused though. So, so that note's D. The song starts with the verse and it sounds like this. So to play that, open E, which is actually a D, and then we're gonna slide up to fret 12 on the D string with the third finger. And then put your first finger flat across the G and the B strings at the 10th fret. So you play the open E, sliding up to the D12, then you can play B10, and then G10. We're then gonna hammer on our second finger on B11. So you play the B10, and hammer on to B11. So you get that. Then play the G10, Take your finger off and play the B10, so your second finger off and play the B10, and then the G10. So bar one slowly goes. Up speed. Into the next bar, bar number two, we're gonna play fret 12 on the A string with the little finger. We're then gonna play B10 with the second finger. First finger on the G9. And then that same hammer on, but this time we're gonna use our second finger to our third finger going from B10 to B11. Then G9, then B10, then G9. So you've got. If you wanted to, you could swap that 12 on the A string to a uh, seven on the D string. So you could go. Well, let's play it up here. Uh, into bar number three, and we've got. So we're gonna start with the little finger on A10. And then you can take the finger off and put your second finger on the uh, eighth fret of the D string, so D8. First finger on G7. Back to the D8. Then B8. Third finger there. Then G7. And then D8. So bar three. And then bar four starts the same on the 10th fret of the A string. And then you're gonna play G7, B8, G7, and then again G7, B8, G7. So bar four. So the whole of the line slowly goes. Speed. So that line repeats, so you play it twice. We then get this little breakdown part which goes. So 
So to play that all on the A string, so starting off on fret 10, then 13, 12, then 10, so it goes two. Next bar, we're gonna go to eight, 12, 10, eight. Next bar, bar seven, goes seven, eight, seven, five. Then fret four for two beats, and then you just slide off of it. So the whole line goes. Now that takes us to the bridge, which sounds like this. So to play that, we're gonna do a D minor chord. First finger, E1. Third finger, B3. Second finger, G2. Playing from the D string downwards. And we're gonna hit it three times, one on beat one, and then on beats three and four. So it goes one, two. It then goes to an A chord, which is just your first finger, D2. Second finger, G2. Third finger, B2. Same rhythm, or you could put some like kind of little arpeggio bits over it. So the first two bars go. And then we go to what is like a G minor in the next um, bar. We're gonna play fret five on the D string with the first finger, that's uh, sorry, third finger, but your first finger is gonna bar across the E, B and the G strings at the third fret. And you play D5, B3, then G3, then E3, B3, and G3. So it goes. And then bar 12 goes. Which is just D3, B3, E3, B3, then D2, B3, E3, and then B3. So it goes. So the whole of that bridge goes. That line also repeats, so you play the bridge twice. And then it go to the chorus, which sounds like this. So for that, we've got a G minor chord. Bar your first finger across the bottom three strings at the third fret. Then third finger A5, little finger D5. Only play from the A string downwards. So that's G minor. It then goes D minor for a bar. Then A for a bar. Back to D minor for a bar. Then G minor for a bar. D minor for a bar. And then A for two bars. And you could just play four hits straight down, just go. So four hits on each of those all the way through, or you can uh, funk it up a little bit and, and play some more. Um, and it basically keeps repeating that chorus, uh, apart from there's a little middle eight which is slightly different, where you get this kind of... Uh... So that little middle eight part, on the top string, E3, uh, sorry, E5, and we do E5 five times. Then E7, E8, and then E5. So bar 21 goes. Then kind of the same thing, but at fret 12, so E12 
five times, E14, E15, then E12. So first two bars of the middle eight go. Uh, we then get this little tremolo uh, picking thing that goes. So that's just G15, G14, then D12, D14, D15, and then G12. You could just play. Or you could play it with tremolo picking again. It then repeats back and plays bars 21, 22, and 23. But then you don't play 24 on the repeat. Instead, you go to bar 25, where you're playing B14, B15, B17, and then another B17 and B18. Tremolo picking apart from the last two notes. So. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense, that whole middle eight. So you play the first four bars, you repeat back, play the first three bars, then play bar um, the second time, bar, bar 25. And then you're just going to play the chorus chords till the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me, as does giving me a like on the video. And I do love to hear from you, and I do read every comment, so please leave me some comments in the comment section. Just say hi, let me know where in the world you're from, um, and any ideas of other songs you'd like me to do. And if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, keep me doing this, and you want to print off the tabs, um, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. It really is the only way that I can do this. So check that out, my Patreon page, link in the description. Thanks for watching this, I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.